What's up guys? Welcome back and on today's episode of the insurance companies can suck my balls We're gonna attempt to take everything off the back of the transom Depending on how far we get we may take the vacuum flush and generator out. I don't know if that happened today There's quite a bit of stuff I need to take off inside the bilge But we'll get started stay tuned at the end of the video for a little uh, borrowed time public service announcement or word to the wise Let's get started. Uh, let's snail this rail to free, motherfucker. So a good tip to keep everything organized, especially you know it's going to be a while when you take your stuff apart before you put it back together, get you some sandwich baggies that you can write on, permanent marker, write down everything, and everything that goes with one thing, like all my K-plane bolts and accessories will go one bag all my any studs or nuts wires that come off my uh, transom assemblies they'll go in a different bag also when we get inside the bilge where we got wires and plumbing and everything take a picture like I said if it's gonna be a while take a picture and you can go back and look at it make sure you get everything back in the right spot Okay, so the very inner bottom bolt on a K-plane of a formula is double nutted. One's for the, probably the mercathode system, the ground. Another one holds it in. Well, it's hard to get one hand on one side and one hand on the other, so I guess I'll have to wait for assistance. So, we'll uh, see if any of the rest of them will come loose finish taking the rest of this off the back and then we'll go inside I woke up on the other side. there's a spring behind this nut Since I got the engines out, I plan on replacing these water hoses just because. So, for speed, we're just going to cut them off. Once that's kind of loose. Yeah. All right. These are the trim cylinder lines. I don't know exactly how they come off at the drive, so we're just going to take them off and slide them back out the hole, too. If I were a betting man, that probably goes to a trim center gauge on a standard Bravo. This having XRs and HP gimbals, it doesn't have the uh, electronic trim center, so it's just got a mechanical. So for now, it's just going to get cut. We can fix them if we need them.
Alright, before I get carried away, I'll let that one sit like it is. One of them come loose. Got the drives off and actually get in there. Yeah, one hand on the inside, one hand on the outside to hold these nuts for this K plane. Also, when to take the eyelets off, nuts are pretty well locked in there. So we're gonna back off these outside nuts. I'll just take a saws off, cut it off, just poke them back there because I get new ones anyway. Somebody's got it sealed up. I don't know what they used. Hopefully not 5200. All right, we're gonna try a little heat. Help release the adhesive it looks like somebody's used. Let's see if this is gonna work. I can hear it releasing. Alright, so I finally got that K-plane broke loose. Lots of heat. I didn't bore you with all of it. I'm not even going to bore you with this side. Lots of heat with a heat gun. Work your way around it. They, uh, I think they used 5200 instead of 4200. I ended up working my way around until I get that in there. If I messed up any gel coat, well, it's going to the body shop anyway, so I'll let them worry about it. We'll see if we can pop it the rest of the way off. Then uh, I'll get this side and then we'll get back to it. I didn't screw it up too bad. That actually popped off with the adhesive. That and that right there. I'll finish up the other side and then I'll give you my uh, little word of wisdom before I wrap it all up. I ever told y'all that I really hate working on my own stuff? What sucks is when you make just enough money, you can buy something nice, but not enough money to pay somebody else to do all the work for you. So we're almost done. This other K plane come off pretty easy, actually, about 10 minutes. Try to put a bunch of heat into it with a heat gun. A few, uh, few scrapers scra uh, hammered in there. It popped right off. Uh, it didn't take anything with it, really. So that side's pretty good. Uh, what I have done is I'm going to take these off. I already took off my uh, steering cylinder mounts, steering cylinder bulkhead fittings. I'm going to take these off. Uh, I'm going to leave these on. I'm going to leave my flaps on. It's not really in the way for what they need to do. I'll take the rubber off and polish the trim rings around them. But the only thing I've got left to do is take these eyelets off. The nuts on the inside are seized up. They got them back about a half inch. So I'm gonna take a sawzall, saw that off. And if those don't come off, I gotta do the same thing with that. But then the back is pretty well done. And that's probably all we're gonna do for this video. I'll clean up my mess when I'm done. and We'll call it a day. Then the next go around, we'll uh, go inside the bilge, pull the generator, the vacuum flush, all the water hoses I'm gonna get rid of and change out and then we can start clean up all right well saws I won't get in there enough not to screw up gel coat even worse than it already is so cut off wheel it is
reasons I'm taking these off is since it looks like they can be polished, might as well make them look nice while everything else is apart. Well, there you have it. <clears throat> the uh, transom's all stripped down. I just gotta pull that one eyelid out, nuts are off of it. But uh, before I end this video, I've been pretty, I don't know what do you say, I've been pretty easy going about the whole insurance deal. It's kind of a, we get what we get. But my uh, little word of advice or public service announcement to anybody, if you drive a vehicle that's worth more than a meal on the dollar value menu at McDonald's, and you plan on pulling any trailer that's more than a garden trailer, I highly recommend you keep full coverage on your vehicle because you never know when some worthless crackhead piece of shit, yes I said it, is going to pull out in front of you and trash your shit and then you're done. So we're making do, we're going to have a lot of work ahead of us, a lot of pinching pennies, but hopefully we'll have it back on the water next year, I don't know if it'll be spring or not. I. Uh, I tried working a street corner, but I had to pay people instead of the other way around. I didn't make a lot. But until next time, hope y'all had a good one. Hope we got to see our lotto uh, coverage last week. Mm -hmm. See y'all next time.